what you are about to see is real. All video and audio was captured in an actual paranormal investigation. Nothing has been manufactured or staged. Previously on Local Haunts, the team investigated the Jacksonville Ice and Sportsplex. Oh, wow. And now they continue their investigation. What more will they find as they explore this local haunt? Hello and welcome to Local Haunts. I'm your host, Steve Christian. Tonight we conclude our investigation of the Jacksonville Ice and Sportsplex. And joining us as special guest, Lindsay, also known as L Train for the Jacksonville Roller Girls. And the producer of Jacksonville Roller Girls, Tommy Riggins, is running camera for us. You can catch Jacksonville Roller Girls right here on CW17, Saturday nights at 10.30. We moved our investigation into the skate rental room, and the investigation starts right now. Chrissy, it's Tommy, Roger, Amy, and Mike. Where's Lindsay going with that? I'm here. <laughs> ah, Lindsay and Nick. What is your name? You still send something in? Mm hmm. What the hell is that? That was ice sauce machine. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Just ask, and there it is. Are you in need of help? cell phone because it would be consistently on and stronger than this. Just then Roger started getting hits on his K2 meters. K2 meters detect electromagnetic energy, which spirits can give off. Unless you're possessed. <laughs> <laughs> it could very well be. It's his crunch. It's his crunch. Yeah. yeah. It was doing it when Amy was coughing a bit ago. And it stopped and then it just came back. Now it's going again. Jack's ice back in the rental room. Back. Okay. Don't take it personally, it's not you. I think it's just mm -hmm. it's around you. Sorry. These green lights in Roger's hand here just detect electricity. Are you making that go off on purpose? Coming up on Local Haunts. He's the ghost hunter, but I'm the ghost whisperer. And so that's kind of what brought us together is he was finding an awful lot of people asking for help and he wasn't quite sure what to do. Incredible spiritual reads with medium Pamela Teresa from a local haunts Trinity event.
We were trying to find a natural reason for the hits on our K2 meters. Let's go for it. One and not the other. There's Both. nothing electrical in that corner. I was looking, I didn't see anything. Well, he, he says no. I there was an electrician. He said there's nothing <laughs> on there. There shouldn't be anything in there. Electric skates. <laughs> Closest electrical electric is slide. there. It's consistently right here. Are you standing in that corner? Maybe, maybe it's attached to a skate. That would suck. <laughs> <laughs> it's my skate. <laughs> Charge more for the haunted skates. Yeah. These are all kids skates over here? That corner is all kids skates. <laughs> it's funny because the EMF seems to be lower than higher. Yeah. How old are you? Can you cross over to the other side of the room? When I count the three, one, two, hmm. three. That's a strong signal. Uh, when you put that light on, I can't tell if it's lit up or it's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not. Whoa. Yeah, he's been getting some strong signals in here. It's, it seems to be like right here every time. That's why I was wondering, there's no... Well, let's do some questions. Okay. Can you now come... Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Can you back away from the lights? Hmm. Now, can you come towards the lights again? Oh, my God. Thank you. I'm not trying to make you do tricks. I'm not trying to upset you. I'm just trying to make sure you understand. If you understand what I'm saying, can you back away from the lights? And by doing that, we can do yes and no questions. Thank you. If you're a male, can you walk to the lights? If you're a female, can you walk towards the lights? So I'm assuming you're a female. Okay. Do you need some sort of help? If anybody else wants to hold them to prove that it's not me, you're welcome to do it. Can you just set them in that hole right there? strong signal. It sure is. And it's equally strong in both. That's it's like right between. All right. Can you step away from those? Thank you. Did you want help? If you want help, step towards the lights, please. Wow. Can you go in other rooms in this complex? Do you have to stay in this room? Hmm. Are you the keeper of the skates? Huh. You like those lights, don't you? Sometimes they get so excited that they can mm -hmm. talk that they just, especially if it's a child. All right, let's try this. There are two devices with green lights on. Right now you're making the one on the right go off and not the left as I'm facing them. Can you make the left one go off and not the right? Other way around. That's the right one. Can you make the other one go off by itself? 
Can you make this one over here go off? Can you see where I'm pointing? <laughs> okay. Can you make... There you go. Well, Can you make just the left one go off? You're making them both... You're getting there. Stand closer to Michael and you might just be able to make this one go off. That was definitely getting stronger. Michael won't hurt you. Just make the left one go off and not the right one. Hmm. Yeah, that's a pretty strong whatever's doing that. We were all amazed by the apparent intelligent interaction, by what seemed to be the earthbound spirit of a child. It breaks my heart that this child wanted help, but at the time of the investigation was shot, I had not yet learned how to help earthbound spirits. But help was on the way. Coming up on Local Haunts, He's the ghost hunter, but I'm the ghost whisperer. And so that's kind of what brought us together is he was finding an awful lot of people asking for help and he wasn't quite sure what to do. Incredible spiritual reads with medium Pamela Teresa from a local haunts Trinity event. look at local haunts Trinity. Hey, um, I, I have a serious near-death experience here in the room. Who, there's one. Who had the near-death experience? All right, people don't want to talk about it. Okay, there you go. I did talk. Okay, so yeah. Okay, child. That's Hold it. That at least my grandma tells me about it. Okay, yeah, so that's absolute. I that's believe it happened, and I believe she prayed over me, and I believe I came back. I believe it wasn't my time to depart yet. Don't be surprised if in the next days and weeks to come that you might start having a little recollection of your experience in connecting with the other side uh, when that happened. So, throughout your life, you've had this particular sixth sense about you. It comes from, I mean, it, it becomes more powerful when we do leave our physical body in, in preparation for transition, but then come back. Uh, so I believe that so many answers are gonna be. I've got plenty. Always asking them. Right. Well, it's a common belief in paranormal investigation that if you've had a near-death experience, that you're, you've crossed the veil at least once, so you're a little more open to it. And you see, in some cases, you see and hear things that you didn't see before you had your near-death experience. Well, I believe uh, I was a lot like her. <laughs> and what? I physically, in my mind, have blocked it all out. So I'm going to help of, you to... Because of the reasons that... Reinvent yourself? I, I was bothered with. But your grandmother is in spirit now, isn't she? Mm-hmm. Okay, she's coming through for you. And in fact, she's the one that was bringing you through that even though these signs seem so obvious, she's really been trying to get your attention. Okay, so there's been something going on in your life lately to where it's almost like the house is on fire. So she's, she's really focused on, and she's even been moving stuff around. She shows me a napkin on the table being moved. So, or something on the table, this like a paper, does that make sense to you? That's what she's showing, that is her. Um, and then she's also talking to me about where when you, when you saw the flower and the petal fell off the flower, she's giving me this vision of a flower and, and it's just like, and this petal fell off the flower. I don't know if you were outside or inside, but that was her as well. Your grandfather, he with her? Okay, so he's coming through on that. And he served, who am I connecting to with somebody that served? Any military grandfathers? Yep, that's okay, we'll get to that anyway. Uh, he might be talking about a service in, 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 in another way of, did he, who has a cleaning business? Because now they're giving me the vision of serve pro van, you know, where you can earn a, uh, own a franchise, a own business, your own business, a cleaning business or some, some sort of cleaning. Um, also too, I've got somebody else in this audience here that is connected with CSI cleaning or somebody who cleaned up crime scenes. That's you. Okay. You're just going to hog the show, aren't you? <laughs> I have. I up crime scenes. Okay, crime scenes. So that's, that's what your grandfather is showing me. He comes through with that, and that is of service. So maybe that's the way he's trying to, I'm trying to demonstrate to you how they will communicate, and we're following the breadcrumb trail. 
Um, every medium is psychic, but not every psychic is medium. And so what I do is I shut the psychic doors. And so when spirit comes through, I rely directly upon what they're feeding to me. It might seem chaotic at the time and like it doesn't make sense and almost like I'm fishing for information. I didn't care. It doesn't bother me what people think. All I know is what they are saying and that's why I'll deliver directly to you. Another thing is, uh, once y'all leave here, be prepared. Even something for him that seems directly for him, you will be following the breadcrumb trail too and your family members are gonna grab a hold of the information and take you along on that as well. So that's what's really cool because they're present as well. Uh, where's your mother? You tell me and then we'll both know. <laughs> I haven't spoke to her in 30 years. I couldn't tell you if she's alive or dead. So this is what they're saying. Has where's your mother? I don't know. I don't see her in spirit. Does it mean she isn't? But who I know is that right now your grandmother is the architect of the reed, meaning the boss of the reed, and that's the word that came out, the words that came out of her mouth. Where's your mother? What's her connection? I don't know. To grandma. Uh, she was the black sheep to grandma. Uh, oftentimes during the read, I'll say, Are, is that person in spirit or are they here? That's because the soul powers the body. So as a sensitive, I link to the soul. And if they're not standing right here, your mother feels the same to me as does your grandmother, but that, that, that does not mean she's passed. Um, was she the one with the alcohol problem? Uh, several problems, that was one of them. But that's the main one, that was the starting point, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, your grandmother's talking about so this is relevant to you. Um, the cause was laid in place well before you even took your first breath. Does that make sense? The cause, you know, cause and effect. Effect is, is what she's doing now. Effect is you haven't talked to her for three years. Cause uh, is the fact that certain things happened to your mother before you were born that created which what you lived with. So it, this is your grandmother's way of saying there was nothing you could do. So it's not your fault. So you needed to hear that. Coming up on Local Haunts. Do I have to come in the hot seat now? <laughs> <laughs> More validations from the other side. Does everybody hear that voice talking? Cause, Cause we love you. Because we love you. y'all you'll turn into tune into the vibrational frequency of spirit so listen between the layers and every person that comes through on audio here is different you know your people you'll feel them um, why y'all hanging out with me <laughs> did everybody hear that voice because because we love you Because we love you. And you can hear at the end that you. Because Did he call you son? Because mm -hmm. he said, I love you, son. You guys hear that? You can feel him through his voice. Do you That's hear that? Mm-hmm. That's my grandpa. 
You can also book Pamela for personal or group reads and reconnect to lost loved ones.